So LexisNexis, we love the concept of analytics because it helps to display and surface our data and our content in ways that are very useful for our customers, both from the perspective of how do you do business development and how do you get more efficient in Turkey. What we have noticed is that a lot of our customers still expect analytics to be AI and more advanced machine learning. But a lot of analytics can just be in ways in which you revision your data and see your data in a way that actually provides insights. The reality is all for me analytics is, is creating insights into your content in new ways that helps you to have actions. So areas in which or where analytics can benefit include things like understanding the legal analytics, which is things like case analytics, understanding win loss ratios, the judges, and the trends that we're seeing in case judgments, potentially also with things like types of litigants like an agency or an asset matter. Things like intellectual property and being able to do bulk analytics across a large number of contracts and being able to extract, for example, the, the limitation of liability clauses and seeing variation in those. Electronic billing and understanding where lawyers are spending their time and as a result getting more efficient across a firm. Business development obviously is turning analytics and the analytics of what your firm is doing, potentially produced by, by LexisNexis, or analytics across what's happening in the market for a particular type of matter or particular type of industry and being able to use that for business development. And also having a strategy around the council. I mean, when you're talking to an opposing council, when you're about to go into litigation with opposing council, how they have performed, where they are strong, where they are weak, and therefore being able to um, work out your own strategy. So look at analytics and their usage in, for example, the US, who are ahead of us, although we are starting to catch up in Australia, and looking at how it's adopted. We already see 80% of law firms using it for the business of law, for, for, to acquire and keep customers and 77% using it for the practice of law, understanding case analytics and understanding the loss ratios and therefore being able to work out your strategy. That's very, very high. 98% of those who use analytics see the value in it being around understanding being more efficient, building better customer relationships and maintaining those relationships. So why is the US ahead of us when you look at the adoption analytics? Some of it's because the volumes inside the courts are much higher in the US and as a result, with more data, it's easier to create statistically relevant analysis and therefore use that. But increasingly in Australia, we are beginning to be able to do the same here because with unsupervised learning and better ways in which you can actually analyze data and then get inside individual cases and extract particular insights, it becomes easier to create meaningful analytics from a smaller data set. So at LexisNexis, our position on legal analytics is that it is here to stay. And it's very important that it's integrated into a platform which can give you access back to the primary data. So you can go into the analytics tool, you can get the insight. If you need to just explore more and see if you actually are trust that insight, you can then click through and see the primary law and the primary outcomes that back it up. And that's why we see our analytics as being super important to drive efficiency, to drive market development, and to retain your market share, and also see what your competitors are doing.